all of these rappers that died, you had to react to it. You had to react to it. Oh my God, I can't believe it. You know, get your 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 visual and your and your memorial and shit like that. At this point in time, I'm giving you ample opportunity to be proactive. Conseco, fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is If you do not have your Big Face Podcast Snapback or your Are You Serious t shirt which are going for 20 and the snapbacks are going for 25 the gray t shirts are going for 15 for this week only. Um, go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 only if you're in AO Nation um, I don't want Everybody just rocking out like that representing what the fuck I got going on Also, if you do have your shirt already, you need to send me your picture so we can have that at the beginning of the show also the um, Merchandise department is going to make a collage of all of AO Nation. And I'll probably get a whole poster made and shit like that. Alright. Um, today we're going to do something that needs to be done. So that you guys can have an understanding of what the fuck I got going on. Um, since, I, since it seems like I need to um, reaffirm um, and confirm... Um, what it is that you already know as far as me telling you what's going on and what's going to happen down the line. Uh, I think the issue that we're having is you don't believe me as far as you little retarded niggas. You don't believe what the fuck it is I'm telling you about how serious this shit is and how you're being used by this goddamn system and machine. Not only to destroy your peers and your whole generation... But yourself. So today we're going to do the top three rappers that are going to die in 2019. Let's rock. Number three. Bunk Gang. This should come to no surprise. As no surprise to anyone. Um, this nigga just did a fucking Vlad interview. This nigga can't barely talk. Um, I think he was... Once again, trying to get attention and shit like that. Oh, fucking look at me. Uh, I'm on drugs and shit. I can't stop. Look how fucking fucked up I am. On that white boy shit. Like, that's some white folks shit. Like, niggas don't fucking want you to see just how fucking uh, Look how fucking hard. I guess, actually, that's wrong. Because that is. Like, I'm, on, I'm full of them drugs and shit like that. Like, that's the shit now. And that what y'all turn into. I guess you just can't see it. But you're going to see it in a minute. Oh, we just had that girl... Levito, she overdosed or whatever uh, from ap- for aftermarket pills and shit like that. This nigga here is fucking retarded. And because he's trying to do other shit, some of these motherfuckers may die of suicide. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about, about overdose no shit like that. I'm talking about actually killing themselves just for the attention and shit like that. Fuck around playing. And he's going, like I said, whether it be that or whatever the fuck it is that's after him, actually gets him on some shit whatever because all this playing and shit is not gonna last that fucking long and niggas and you gonna be so fucking surprised or I guess your people or your generation is gonna be so fucking surprised at how fast they get over you all of your fucking followers on all your social media platforms are only there to see you self destruct they're waiting for the grand finale so they can end it, they're going to get right on to the next nigga who has suicidal issues or just wants some attention. And that's the only way he can get it, by harming himself. Self. That's what that is. Number two. NBA Youngboy. 
NBA Young Boy, um, this is what money do to motherfuckers. Before money hit, before he got money when he was just a dirty nigga, as Scotty Kane said, just a dirty nigga in the hood. He wouldn't have the issues of somebody, I want to kill myself and shit like that. But this fame shit, what fame does, it, money, money allows us to be the assholes that we were meant to be. Money does that. But fame and the act of, of, what is it, um, sustaining fame is not anything to scoff at. It's extremely difficult to stay on top, especially when you're not the one that's in control. Like, if Youngboy's label was to stop pushing him as hard, he would fall the fuck off. They, just like any good dope dealer, you give the junkie the dope for free, maybe two or three times in the beginning, then you make them start paying for it. Um, you like it when the dope takes over their life because now they're dependent on you, so that means a steady flow of revenue. Um, they can't function on their own, they need you. Um, They don't know how to navigate in this world without you. And this is exactly what the labels are. Um, they're nothing but drug dealers. And the drug that they distribute is fame. You can't get this fame without me. Um, just like with dope. Um, you have ups, downs. Sometimes you get too much. And you like overdose and shit like that. Uh, fall asleep. Um, get a headache. You know what I'm saying? These are all side effects of the dope. Getting still, you gonna go back and get some more. Like, fuck the side effects. I just did it wrong that time. You know what I'm saying? I love this shit. Uh, you never forget your first time getting that drug. But you'll also never get that high again. Um, and that's how you become a junkie. Um, chasing a fucking high. And so with, with him, what's going on is we're seeing what fame actually does to, they knew this already, what fame does to that of a mind that's undeveloped fully. Um, and this is why they run, they vet an artist before they actually sign him. Um, all those signs, those dancing on the table, being a, um, un irrational, unlogical, um, oh man, no troubleshooting skills, hard time conveying emotions, these are all things that, uh, not good at expressing oneself. Um, probably some childhood issues that they're not fully over. As a record label, you have the resources to get all the people that you need in order to actually run those tests. You get a psychologist, a therapist, um, a polygraph man, a fucking a third grade math teacher and shit. Hello? Yo! Stupid bitch. Any person or any trade that you would need in order to vet a motherfucker to make sure that their mind is not prepared for what it is you're about to give them, you can hire those people. You just fucking contract them. Like, look, let me get a therapist. 
um, fucking uh, polygraph man, um, DNA motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck it is I need to make sure that this person is not going to be able to, to handle this shit. I want this to overwhelm them so much that they'll be so confused that I'm the only voice of reason. It's just like pimping. Just like the dope game. It's just like pimping. Like, and it's horrible what it is they do. It's, it's fucking, it's, it's really, it's evil, but what the fuck can we expect? What the fuck can we expect? They also test uh, one's leadership skills as far as how the public will perceive them. They'll place those leadership skills artificially into a person as far as shoot him as far as the videos and interviews and shit like that. Make sure that he looks like, you know what I'm saying? Give him straight lines. And that comes in when you have the money to pay DJs and shit like that to ask only certain questions. And those who will not follow those parameters that you want to be asked to your artists, you won't do those fucking interviews. This is where your relationships come in. Um, and this is that game. This game can be used for good or evil. And, um, this is just another spinoff of the Willie Lynch theory. It's another byproduct, another child. Um, so yes, he, uh, in 2019, his false sense of security um, will get him killed. Um, whether or not it's by his hand or someone else's, I'm not sure. But it will all crash down on top of him in 2019. Um... It's a shame, and this is exactly why this video has to be done, because all of these rappers that died, you had to react to it. You had to react to it. Oh my God, I can't believe it. You know, get your, 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 your visual and your, and your memorial and shit like that. At this point in time, I'm giving you ample opportunity to be proactive and before it takes place attempt to change the one that you care for if you actually are a fan of any of these rappers now you have a chance to go holler at them like look you know what I'm saying you might need to change some shit whatever like that you're in this type of position and then for the artists themselves to come here and say I actually need to you know what I'm saying make sure that you know what I'm saying I got this shit together because 2019 will be the end of my life. There's no more. Um, like I said, the thing that, come back to the young boy, the thing that ensured me that he wouldn't live another year is the fact, when I saw him getting to it with them niggas at that video shoot in California, that was a red flag because I saw how impressionable he was. Like, he, all those folks that were around, he's not from there. He's down there on someone else's marriage. The situation didn't call for any type of, you know what I'm saying, rah rah shit, whatever. And he displayed it. He displayed that. He ran up on something that didn't have to be ran up on. It's just the way he was, you know what I'm saying, the, the posturing he was doing just let me know that this, this wasn't his mind. This wasn't him wanting to do this. He's doing this because he's pressured. Then he came with the suicide shit. Then he came with the herpes shit. And then next thing you know, he in California and he run up on some more niggas. And I see the same thing again. All this goddamn whooping. You playing with niggas as if you don't know who the fuck you is. On video, it was a fan at a gas station or shit like that, and you claim you about to up. You claim you was about to up on this nigga, whatever like that, and 
these are things that y'all not seeing. The same way I see these videos, everyone else does too. And this is the issue with having cameras on you at all times. People are watching you, praying on you, seeing what your moves are. The thing about a nigga that keep fire is niggas that know that nigga that keep fire on him. When they want to do something to him, they know they can't come with just hands. They're going to have to come with fire too. So the nigga who always got the fire is a nigga who always get killed and don't never get no fair fight because the nigga scared you're going to do it to him. These are things that combine together spell death. So 2019 will be his last year. Number one, no drum roll. Takashi six nine. Takashi six nine. Um, a lot of playing going on. Not for one second. I don't want y'all to get it fucked up to believe that this is what I want to take place. It's not the case. I don't want these motherfuckers to die. What what the thing is, it doesn't matter what the fuck I want to take place. It's what it is. Um and I may not want uh my homeboy to get in a car accident, but if he drives a hundred and five miles per hour everywhere he goes, whether it be a restaurant or to goddamn the club, he drive hundred and five, it's like hey, been home. Look here. Slow that motherfucker down before no saying you fuck up out here. And that's just what the fuck it is. So it's not and, and with these niggas not being my niggas and also these niggas being people that I feel they're not really at fault because those that are at fault are the people who started this vicious cycle. But I can't help but feeling some type of, you know what I'm saying, way with these niggas being used the way they're being used um it's not the gun that's killing people it's the motherfucker behind the gun but if I'm trying to get the motherfucker to stop shooting motherfuckers I can either hit him or the gun at his hand either way the shooting is stopped at this point these artists are being used as guns um I'm gonna talk about that later on too um Herpes, homosexuality, and hip hop. The weaponization of hip hop. I gotta find a, a, a better title and shit like that, but that was gonna be about. And with these niggas, Takashi Nine just counted, you know what I'm saying, enough money out to pay his family rent for a year. Um, this came out on the tail end of him fucking a 15 year old. Now a new rumor, you know what I'm saying, of him fucking a 15 year old. Um, and the alleged girl comes out saying this shit, whatever like that, talking about it's, you know, statutory rape ain't cool, that's why it's illegal. Um, I didn't like that comment, uh, first of all, because she's a retarded bitch. Like, ho, um, you're not mad that you had sex with him. You mad that you had sex and you're not in a good position right now. Um, what you want is money. You're a nothing-ass bitch. Um, I hate when nothing-ass... I hate when anybody gets out of line. Uh, I always had a, a, a line. I always had a quote. Know your number, bitch. Know your number. Meaning, if you're a five, you need to understand... And accept the fact that you're a five at this point right now. You can go and work out. You can go do plastic surgery or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? This is what you physically can do um, to change the fact that you're a five. But at this point right now, you're a five and you need to understand that. So that if a nigga uh, begins to treat you and tell you that you're a, um, a, a ten, you understand that he has an ulterior motive because he's lying. Why would it? Why would he lie to you? You can ask him, saying, like, are you trying to boost my confidence? And shit like that. 
and if, but if he tells you that he's being honest, he pretty much just told you that you're a white girl if you're black. You know what I'm saying? He told you you're a white girl, or you're a green girl, or you're a yellow girl, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? You wouldn't call a dark skinned girl a red bone. So why are you calling a five a ten? So he's trying to butter you up at this point in time. This is the same shit. You know, I tell this to my loved ones. Females, my family. Know your number. Know your number. Not only so that no one else can take advantage of you, but so that you can take advantage of that number. Meaning, uh, you're a five. Use that. Put that on a fucking board in front of you, whatever like that. And use that as motivation to get to whatever number you want to get to. But understand what number you are. You got to look at yourself honestly and truly and say, all right, right now I'm a five, but with hard work and dedication, I can be a seven. And from that point, I can be a ten. You know, me, I, I feel like um, hard work and dedication is a way to do anything. Um, you can go to the doctor and get whatever you want done and shit like that. But just like when someone gives you some money and you don't have to earn it, you don't respect it as much. You know what I'm saying? If you earn that body, you'll respect it a lot more. You won't eat those things because this change in the physical ain't going to change the goddamn thing because you're still going to, and that's the whole thing, you're still going to be that, whatever. But when you have to gradually work to get to a higher number, it's something different. But with that, this is what I'm saying. Um, A bitch... Wrong is wrong, and that's what that is. But don't come out with this shit as if you're holier than thou, as if you stand for righteousness. Hey, bitch, you've been fucking since you were damn near 13 years old. You fucked them, hoping that you would be this. It didn't work out, so now you mad. And this is how a lot of rape cases get started. Not just statutory rape. I'm talking about actual rape cases come out of thin air because a bitch is tired of being did the same way dude for dude for dude. And instead of her looking introspectively at herself and saying, I need to change this. I need to learn how to cook. I need to learn how to suck dick. I need to learn how to fuck. I need to learn how to take a bath right so my pussy don't stink. Whatever the fuck it is that you need to change, you won't do that. You will always, and this is my whole thing, you will place the blame and responsibility. All accountability is then on your mate, your partner, whoever that may be. And you put that um, weight on them as a group, not individually. Meaning, if the nigga three niggas ago fucked up, you put his fuck ups on the next person, and then his fuck ups with his fuck ups on the next person, and his fuck ups with his. You know what I'm saying? Just keep piling on to what like a motherfucker can't stand to be around you, and you truly believe. Hold on. fuck down where you truly believe that it's these niggas fault so now without to even you know what I'm saying ever once looking in the mirror to see what the fuck is wrong with your call now you go this nigga you still do the same thing you've been doing since the first nigga you fuck on the first night first day whatever the fuck it is you know what I'm saying uh, your head still ain't hitting on shit pussy still staying on whatever but you got these trash ass niggas, so they ain't gonna tell you shit that they're gonna fucking leave. But you think that you doing something because you tell a nigga, I'm tired of getting dead wrong before y'all fuck. Nigga ain't hearing that. Because you still haven't made any standards. Um, you haven't um, set any bars to where it's like, okay, I need a nigga to be like this. But you shouldn't do that until you make yourself into something. But because you haven't set any standards, you're running into every type of nigga. Every type of nigga. So when a nigga can't hear what it is you're saying and not saying, 99% of communication is nonverbal, um, you put all the blame on him and you are now a bitch scorned. Um, and you'll do whatever it takes to fuck him over. And um, if that means... Going and calling rape. Taking advantage of this fucking system that allows this to take place. Meaning, 
a bitch can go to any police department right now and say he raped me in that fucking department without a physical... drop of evidence without any evidence physically any tangible evidence only the word of this bitch they will go and get that nigga and charge him with rape first and now a nigga has to go and get a lawyer and all this shit just for the word of fucking mouth and just like on my last video when i was speaking about the girl that got hung allegedly supposedly and it's a damn shame i gotta say that um when you see the video because this bullshit happens so much, a nigga don't truly believe a bitch. A nigga don't. And the law don't neither. Understand, when you go tell a police officer that a nigga raped you and you big and black and ugly, bitch, don't nobody actually believe you, but they want a nigga off the street. If you go in there, bitch, and accuse a white boy of rape, they will turn you the fuck around if you don't got no evidence. Go in there, bitch, and say a nigga raped you, they up and ready to go. Where does he live at? You don't know. We're going to go find this nigga. Just tell him what he look like. The right hand of white supremacy. And you'll be the same bitch that will try to go off on your nephew's old lady because she tried to put a kid on him that wasn't his. Or want to kill a bitch when she accused your son of raping her because he wouldn't fuck her. You really believe that lying on a nigga sicking your white daddy on him because you know your white daddy doesn't like him any fucking way because you're hurt because you're not up to standard. It, you can kind of understand why a lot of niggas is like, fuck a, like, you know what I'm saying? So when niggas say, fuck a black bitch, it's not out of, uh, no, it's, it's because this is the shit that get done. White hoes do lie on niggas, but that's something that white hoes is supposed to do. White hoes, a nigga supposed to know that a white hoe is going to call the law on. A nigga supposed to know that. You supposed to know if you fuck a white hoe, she going to call rape. But a nigga would not in a million years believe that a black queen would stoop to the level of a white bitch. Cassie's not gonna die in 2019 because he got too much plan going on, not realizing what life is. After getting sign for sign for sign, which warning comes before destruction, um, and we've seen these warnings uh, blatantly. Obviously, you've seen these uh, warnings. Um, I believe that after the last incident, whether it be real or fake, he would have calmed down. Um, but. Because he won't listen to the uh, signs and, and the chaos, which is his life. Um, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. And he's another one who is going to be mourned. And then people are going to get on with their fucking life. Um, everybody's going to be like, I told you and shit like that. I ain't want to do it like that. You know what I'm saying? But damn. If he continues on what he's doing, he will not make it past 2019. Pure point blank. And that's the top three rappers that are going to die. The next uh, list I'm going to do is uh, top three rappers that were molested. Make sure you watch that shit. Also, make sure you hit the PayPal. This is the Big Facts Podcast. See you on a minute. Love.